It is important to diagnostically evaluate available restorative space prior to implant placement. Failure to accurately assess restorative space may result in aesthetically and structurally compromised prosthesis and patient dissatisfaction. Adequate restorative space is an important consideration in successful implant over denture therapy. Often mistaken for inter-arch distance, restorative space can be defined as a three-dimensional oral space. It is not just a distance, it's a space. In a dentalist patient, available restorative space is bounded by the occlusal plane supporting the tissues of the edentulous jaw, facial tissues, cheeks and lips, and the tongue. For implant over denture patient, this space must be accommodate a denture base of sufficient dimensions, appropriately positioned denture teeth. So, in order to determine this space, we have to measure from the occlusal plane of the upper to the supporting tissues of the lower. We will use a gauge here to measure this space. If I'm going to place implants in the canine area, I have to measure this space to see what is the available space here. From the occlusal plane, okay, to the supporting tissues. Here, it is about nine millimeters. nine to 10 millimeters, okay? Posterior, it is here about twelve millimeters. Okay, so after measuring this space, this is space will accommodate the restorative or the process that is going to be made. Okay, we can also make an index, a rubber index, a silicon index, like this one, okay? This rubber index will help me to assess the overdenture that is going to be made and the attachment that is going to be used. I remove this, place this. Okay, so I have here the available space to accommodate the attachments without being placed labially or excessive lingually because I know here where are the teeth are going to be placed and the available, also the available space. Okay, so if I'm going to place a bar, I need a certain amount of distance. If I'm going to place an overdenture, I am going to need another distance. Okay, if I'm going to make a fixed restoration, I'm going to measure it exactly to know which kind of fixed restorations that I'm going to be to use. Uh, a reported minimum space required for implant supported overdenture with locator attachment is about nine millimeters, eight to nine millimeters. Okay, for a bar, a minimum of 14 to 18 millimeters. So, from this video, we can realize the importance of making an accurate jaw relation for the edential spatial. This means correct centric relation and correct vertical dimension. Okay, because if I made wrong vertical dimension, you can see here, this is the vertical dimension. If for some sort of reason or error, I made it like this, this is wrong. This is not the vertical dimension. I didn't take the vertical dimension correctly. This means the vertical dimension of rest and vertical dimension of occlusion. This is the minimum inter-arch space is compromised because error in jaw relation. Okay, thank you.